Okay, this is the last of Attic Nights for now. The intro is in italics. So, the thing that this same Plutarch, this quad for that, looks uh, ablative. What he insectat, or so he's um, chewed this out, criticized, or um, castigated. This word, which was dictum, which was said by Epic Epicurus with an evident or manifest calumnity. In the same book, the same Plutarch reprehended the same Epicurus. A lot of same going on with pronouns. Um, that the, the he used, taking the ablative for used, is the word parum leastly uh, appropriately, leastly proper. He didn't use the word properly. And of some alien signification, he's uh, used it with a different meaning. Two, for thus, it is thus, Epicurus scripted, for thus Epicurus wrote, in Greek. Um, hmm, what did he say? The utmost height of pleasure is the removal of everything that pains. Uh, not, he says, um, Plutarch says, as it ought to be said, this here, which is um, of everything that pains, but of everything that is painful. Okay, there we go. For the detraction of pain, significanda, he says, uh, not of the dolenting thing. So um, your arm might be dolenting, but you, um, you want a detraction of the pain, not of the thing that's causing the pain. Uh, too much minuteness and nearly even sub frigidity, nearly even some coldness. Uh, Plut Plut uh, Plutarch used against Epicurus in this accusation of lexithero, which is word chasing. Five. Has means these, for these cares. Um, we've got vocum verborum. This one's a genitive, elegantes. So not only is Epicurus not just following uh, the precise care or the elegance of these words, but he's even insectatoring. Uh, so this one has the in in front, which means more hunting. Uh, so this one's more following. So he's not just following these uh, elegance or the minutiae of the words, but he's hunting them out. That's a very short letter. Half of it's in Greek. Ten. Quid sint for verse capital line. So what might mean, favour say, something to do with water, at the capital line, and what, concerning this word, super eo verbo, uh, varro, to Servius Sculpipius, who was asking, and what he wrote back. So Servius Sculpius must have asked varro what he meant by this word. Uh, so here we go, starting at one. Servius Sculpipius, and Orctor, someone important or well known in civil law, a man who was well literatus, very well versed in words, he had scripts read it, he had written to M. Varro, and he rogavitted and he asked that he should write back what the word signifies that is scriptum s written in the book of the senses, in the books of the senses. It must be this favour say. This was the verb, the word, favise capital A, which is actually two words, so it's a phrase. Um, Varro rescripted that in his memory, for himself, um, that Q. Catullus, Catullus, the curator of restoring the capital line, had said he had wanted himself to deprime, crush down or lower the capital line area, so that with more steps, pluribus greater buses, uh, would be used to considerenter, to climb up into the temple, or the walk up, and a suggestus, which is a platform or a something that goes up, he yeah, had fear it, so it would become higher um, in the magnitude of its fastigi, which used to means the peak of this platform, but he was non quissy he was not able to fracaray this, he was not able to do this, since the favisse had impeded, so that's that water arm. Underground water or something. Three. This to be, or these to be, cellars, 
are certain cellars and cisterns, uh, which in the area under the ground were, uh, where there was a custom to be placed, old statues, which from the temple had collapsed, and certain other religious things from consecrated gifts. Uh, donuts are things given. Actinde. And then the same epistle, the same letter, if he denies indeed, say himself to have found in the letters uh, why they were dicte sent, why they were called favise. But Q. Valerium Seranum, or Seranum is uh, said to have been accustomed to say these things that in the, with a Greek name we appella aramus we call a thesaurus or a treasury. The Priscos Latinos, the former Latins, would call flavices. Um, that in these, not crude, uh, was that bronze or um, copper and silver, but flata, so it's blown, is it, and uh, stamped and signed. Uh, so it's money that's been struck, signated. Uh, pecunia is money, so it was. Um, they didn't keep crude bars there, but actual minted coinage. Okay, so Latin lexicon, the Favisa or Favisaea Arum, the underground reservoirs, the cellars near the temples for water, for sacred utensils no longer in use. Varro, pretty much the same thing he said in this letter. Uh, I'll click on this, what's this? So, an underground cellar situated near temples, pretty much what it says in Attic Nights. So therefore he conjectured, um, this, uh, this has been detracted from this verb, what's derived from this verb, the second letter has been um, omitted. So what Flavius is, you take the L out and you call these, cell these cellars Flavius without the L. And uh, these cellars and speckers are the caves, uh, which I think these Adi two people, I've seen this, um, these are people who work for the temple or something. They would use them um, to custodian as to res can uh, not just mean thing, it can mean money and wealth as well. So the temple attendants would use this uh, to custode or guard um, their old religious uh, things of value or something. And then next letter, last letter is 11. Day. Concerning Scinius Dentato and Egregius Bellator, a famous sort of fighter, Many things are memorable or worthy of being used in memory of him. One, El Skinium Dentatum, that's this guy, but in the accusative instead of the ablative, who was the tribune of the plebs when S. Tarpio and A. Alternius were consuls. Uh, there's written in the Annals books uh, more than what ought to be believed. Um, he was a strenuous bellator, he was very strong. And he was named um, because of the fact that because of his ingentum, his huge bravery. And he was also called the Roman Achilles. Achilles was a Greek with a bad foot. Two, he is said to have pugnassed against the enemy, to have fought against the enemy, 150 battles. That's pretty impressive. When he's averse, on his back, he had no kicker tricks, no scars, and he's adverse, which is the front, quinque, and quadriginta, his bears, uh, so 45 or something. He was given golden crowns, octo, eight times. Uh, the obsidinal, which is used in besieging, once, he must have done something good in besieging, uh, three times the muralibus crown, Quattro decam times the civic crown. Uh, Talkabuses is a necklace. He's got 83 necklaces. Uh, Armillus armbands. He's got more than 160. He's got uh, 18 spears, 18 um, awards for spears. Okay, this is nearly done. Item. Likewise, he was given the phallus. He's a medals you wear on your chest, I guess like modern generals do. Five and twenty of them, so twenty-five. Had military spoils, multi yuga, separate events I guess. And pleroquy. A lot of them were in provocories. This is when you 
uh, provoke one-on-one -on -one battle with your enemy. Uh, he triumphed with his Imperators in triumphs nine times. And that's his life story.